gonna start with a Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Uh, note that in order to come to this pose, it takes some hip opening. Uh, so before you come into the pose, uh, taking yourself through like the sequence of a forward fold, halfway lift, lunging out, being here in the lunge, and then finding your downward facing dog. Another fun one to do is lift your right leg, bend your knees, take your right foot into a figure four, and sit back, opening up through the, the buttocks and the sides of the hip and the sides of the groin. And then uh, as you step the right foot forward and put the back heel down onto the floor, you want heel to heel or roughly right lane and left lane. So if you drew a line right down the center of your mat, you wanna make sure that your right foot's on the right side, left foot's on the left side, and you're not on a tight rope, because that's gonna be really hard to get the hips uh, open once you come up. So make sure you have a right side and a left side, back toes 45 degrees. As you come up, try not to come up from the back body. Instead, think of looking in at your own navel, curling your tailbone underneath, and rolling up through the back body, reach your fingertips up and overhead. An adjustment that I really like to give myself in this pose is the same arm that the leg is forward, you reach it behind you, grab for your top inner thigh and spin it up towards the sky. That's gonna allow this left hip to swing forward and then you can reach the fingertips and re-bend the front knee. Think less about knee and more about shin pulling forward. So less about bending that knee and reaching the shin forward, reach the fingertips up high and this is your Virabhadrasana one, pinkies spin in, heart lifts, belly in.